Kevin Garnett, the infamous trash talker and Hall of Fame basketball player. The man played for a few teams during his successful career, most notably the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Boston Celtics. However, everything wasn't always great and cheerful for him. His trash talk and rough style of play resulted in numerous fights throughout his career, including one against arguably the most hated basketball player in NBA history, Zaza Pachulia. In this video, we'll be heading straight to the fight between Zaza and Garnett, but make sure you stick around until the end of the video because we have quite a few more fights involving this legendary forward that you won't want to miss. So without further ado, let's jump right into the first fight. The Celtics were up against the Hawks in this contest, and a Boston player went up for a layup. He wasn't able to knock the shot down, but one of his teammates grabbed the rebound and handed it off to a cutting Kevin Garnett. Garnett went to go up for a layup of his own, but once again the shot didn't fall. He tried to jump and grab his own miss, but Zaza used his arm to kind of shove Garnett out of the way. Another Atlanta player was able to come away with the basketball, but it didn't stop Garnett from elbowing Pachulia out of the way before whistles started raining in. The foul call didn't really seem to phase Garnett at all, he kind of just stood there and waited for play to resume, but Pachulia had other plans. He charged towards Kevin and got up in his face before a few teammates were able to hold him back and get him separated from the famous Celtics trash talker. Although the Boston player who was helping some of Zaza's teammates get him pushed back ended up getting into a fight himself with a different Hawks player. The cameras caught these two guys taking a few steps over, arguing and getting up into each other's faces the whole time. This caused other people on the court to rush over and break up that fight. All the while, they were still trying to settle down the feud between Zaza and Garnett. Kevin seemed to calm down rather quickly, mostly because he never seemed phased by the altercation whatsoever. Meanwhile, Zaza was yelling and screaming the entire time he was being held back by Al Horford. One can imagine that he was yelling at Garnett the entire time, but given his position on the court, he could have been arguing with a ref or maybe even a different Boston player on the floor. Ironically, that seems to be Garnett's job on your typical night. I guess he just wanted to take a back seat and relax this game after throwing that elbow, though that's clearly not always the case. On January 12, 2015, the Brooklyn Nets were locked in a tight game against the Houston Rockets. This fight all started when Garnett was called for a common foul over restraining Dwight Howard. Meanwhile, the two were just battling it out for inside positioning on a rebound. Garnett was already getting frustrated, so this was just icing on the cake. He pushed Dwight and started yelling at the referee that he didn't do anything wrong. Howard shoved him back as a response, which caused Garnett to escalate the situation by throwing a basketball at his back. They both marched right up to one another, and Garnett ended up giving Dwight a swift headbutt to the face, with Howard slapping Garnett on the back of the neck in response. And this was about the time when finally all the security guards and officials stormed in to separate them before it got even worse. But to make matters completely worse for Garnett, the Rockets were able to walk away with a win in the game, and Howard made sure to say that during his post-game interview. Unfortunately for Garnett, he was suspended for the next game over his ridiculous headbutt during that scuffle. And Howard didn't escape the altercation either though, he was fined $15,000 and got a technical foul. After the game, the Nets head coach Lionel Hollins said that he believed Howard swung at the throat of Garnett, which is why the situation escalated so much. He voiced his own opinion that Howard should have been ejected from the game as well, and when I watch it back, I gotta agree with the guy. Kevin opted not to spend time with the media after that game, but Mason Plumley did step up and say that Garnett did a lot for the team and was able to contribute, though he also mentioned how it sucked to lose the game after all that fighting. And you know what else sucks? Getting an elbow right to the jaw. <laughs> and that's precisely what happened in this next fight. The Minnesota Timberwolves were up against the Sacramento Kings in this particular game, with just under a minute remaining in the third quarter. During the middle of the play, Garnett was knocked to the ground and missed the entire next possession because he was pretty slow to get back up. It looked as if he was hit in the face and needed some time to catch his breath and make sure he was all good before returning to action. He got back up to play offense for his team, but he was just standing in the same place where he fell for a few more seconds. During that time, Anthony Peeler was coming back over half court, and Garnett sent an elbow to the chest of Peeler, who then retaliated with a hard elbow right to the jaw of Garnett. Funny enough, right after they each sent elbows toward each other, they really didn't do a lot of trash talking. 
Instead, they both just kind of looked at each other and waited until the refs ran in between them blowing their whistles to stop the play. The commentators were heavily pushing for each player to be ejected, and that's very likely what happened right after the referees checked over the instant replay. The foul was originally just called on Peeler because the refs didn't see Garnett send that subtle elbow to kick the whole fight off, but I'm sure he was caught red-handed when they went back and watched the replay. And speaking of being caught, both Garnett and DeMarcus Cousins were caught in this fight as well. The Celtics were up against the Kings again in this one. Apparently, Garnett just didn't seem to get along with Sacramento players for some reason. But as soon as you thought this game might be different and everything was going well, that's when disaster struck. The Kings were up by a score of 46-39, with about a minute and a half remaining in the first half of action. DeMarcus Cousins got the ball inside the three-point line and was about to post up Kevin Garnett. However, Garnett was able to get a hand on the ball while Cousins turned around, and the ball went bouncing out of bounds. But Garnett didn't just let it roll out and restart the possession. Instead, he dove in front of DeMarcus in an effort to save the ball before it went out of bounds, and unfortunately, he was just a little too late. As usual, a bunch of his teammates then ran over to pick him up off the floor, but Cousins was just standing over him, talking to him. Then Rajon Rondo walked over to the pile and right in between Garnett and Cousins. It was apparent that Rondo said something to Cousins to try to get him to back away, but DeMarcus didn't move a muscle. Instead, he just stood there talking. Now, this caused Rondo to shove Cousins out of the way, and he took a few steps back and started a small scuffle towards the sidelines. There weren't any punches thrown, and no other player was shoved after that, but the image of Cousins standing in the middle of multiple Celtics players, yelling and arguing, made it look like somebody was going to get punched, maybe even tackled. However, it did end up subsiding pretty quickly once other people got involved to break it up. And there wasn't much punishment dished out for this incident either. Only Rondo was handed a technical foul for the scuffle. But it was enough for the Sacramento head coach to bench his star player, at least until the end of the first half, in order for him to get his mind right and settle down. But settling down was the last thing on Carmelo Anthony's mind in this next fight, as he attempted to take down Kevin Garnett towards the end of a game. The two were matched up against one another, with Garnett fighting to get some separation so that he could receive a pass. Melo didn't want to give him anything easy, so he stuck as close to him as he could. They were wrestling around on the court the entire possession, and it seemed like they sent a few shoves towards each other as well, but no whistle was blown just yet. Garnett broke free right as a Celtics guard lost the ball while he was driving, which caused Kevin to stop abruptly and back into Anthony pretty hard. Because play was now stopped, the two started to talk a little bit. Garnett actually turned around and started walking away, while Mello followed closely behind, trash-talking in his ear the whole way back. One referee finally thought that he should get involved and ran in between them to call a technical foul on them both. However, it didn't seem like either player even acknowledged the whistle, because they actually kept talking and Mello inched even closer to Garnett. And that was when other teammates and players ran in, because this now had the potential to get 10 times worse than what it was. The commentators for this game were right though. They each said that the referees should have called a foul on one, if not both of the players during the previous possession when they were bumping each other around. Now, the officials had to go back and sift through all the footage to assess who started the whole thing and who ended it, along with deciding on any punishments. Had the refs just stepped in much earlier than they actually did, this fight may not have gotten to the point where technical fouls had to be called. But instead, we ended up getting to watch a fight between two of the greatest basketball players of all time. And I don't know about you guys, but I certainly don't mind that that's what happened. Want more fights? Then click on one of the videos that appear on your screen right now. And make sure to subscribe, but only if you enjoy watching NBA fights. Let us know in the comments below who you think we should make a video about next. We'll make sure to shout you out.